two angels decided to visit a town. They wished to bless a family and provide them with enough wealth and happiness. The angels disguised themselves as two girls who were pale and dull in appearance. They picked two houses. The first one was located in the entrance of the town. It was a big house and it appeared like a mansion with many rooms. The girls requested the house owner of the big house to let them stay at their house just for one night as the night was too cold and frightening. The house owner was too rude. The angels pleaded to the family members, and not one of them allowed the angels to stay inside. After pleading for a few minutes, the house owner asked them to stay at the basement located at the back of the house. It was so cold and too small for them. The angels thanked them and stayed at the basement. One angel saw a hollow and a part of the wall broken. She repaired the damaged wall with her magic and covered the space. The second angel was surprised. They left home the next morning. Next was the second home chosen by the angels. The house was very compact and located at one corner of the town. The angels asked the woman who opened the door if they can get accommodation for the night. They were cordially invited. The house owner asked them to stay at their room for the night, as they looked very tired. The couple offered them food and they slept peacefully. The next morning they heard that the couple's cow had died. The woman was crying and the man looked extremely worried, as the cow was the main breadwinner for the family. They lived on selling their cow's milk. The second angel was very angry, as the first angel had killed the cow. When they argued, the first angel told her, I repaired the walls hollow in the big mansion. The space had a hidden treasure, however, no member in that family was good at heart and they did not deserve it. That is why I closed their treasure. It was not I who killed the cow, but I transferred the death to the cow. Death was approaching the woman and the man who offered their shelter and food to us. However, don't worry, I have provided them with a pot full of gold coins. They will find that treasure some day and will make good use of it. Everything has two sides. What appears bad may be good and vice versa.